So what's up guys, how are you guys doing? Good morning, afternoon, evening, depending on where you guys are watching this video from. It's really nice to see you guys today. It's a beautiful morning. And uh, we are very, very unappreciative. And uh, when we wake up in the morning, we think it's that easy to wake up in the morning. It's no, you know, easy, you know, you know, easy, my brothers and sisters. Hello for life. But it's nice to see you guys yeah. today. And it's nice to see you, local man and Thank my engineer. You. Thank you also. so much. And uh, of course, we're going to have some really dope discussion try as much as possible to leave your likes your comments i just really, really appreciating i like the way people are commenting and uh, that being said you know there's an issue i want to really discuss local man and okay. uh, i hope you have some kind of like ideas to show to, to share with the viewers i've discussed this issue several in the past few years eh? but this issue keep reoccurring Okay. Why Nigerians know they assist each other abroad? Mm. In fact, if someone is traveling abroad, the first one of the advices they give to other Nigerians eh, is to stay away from other Nigerians abroad. Because I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. But I've seen some nasty stuff do. I've seen some nasty stuff some Nigerians do abroad that will kind of like drag you into their own problem but why we see indians indians abroad we hold themselves pakistans abroad we hold themselves other nationals we hold themselves but africa most especially nigeria it is hard for them to hold themselves okay uh, based on my own small understanding i believe uh, everything happened for a reason if i choose to help you I have my reason. And if I choose not to help you, I have my reason. Uh, even in our own country, eh, before me, I feel help you, I will think and twice. Talk less of abroad. abroad. You know, the mentality of people these days, happy now is like they take risk. I know not be saying that mentality, not based on past experience. Because imagine I did UK now. I meet you for UK. I don't know where you are from, but I know you are from Nigeria. I know you be so 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 tribe, but I don't know anything apart from that. Mm -hmm. And you expect me to help you. Not that I don't wish to help you. Me helping you that moment is like number one, I'm I'm not in my country. Number two, I don't know much about you. Possibly, nobody will get papers. Uh -uh. So me helping you now, you feel drag me to trouble way. No concern me. Because based on, I never traveled out before, but based on some story, my dear, if they catch you, based on say, you did where the thing they happen, and now your person, a friend of a thief is a thief, you go pack you join. No, there no one know maybe that you didn't involve or you know they involve. Okay, imagine now they uh, UK now. I see my brother from Nigeria. Uh, bro, I know girls, I know girl work. Oh, oh, come and stay with me. I don't know, maybe they, the guy there on the run, maybe police, they find out. But at the end of the day, by the time they track him from my house, I'm in trouble. But I think uh, that is a flimsy excuse. That's not tangible. Enough. No, it's tangible because... Let me tell you okay. why. Let me tell you why I feel it's not tangible excuse. Enough. Okay. Mm -hmm. We are the one discriminating ourselves. Okay. Other countries and other nationals, they are bad ex in it. There are people who put their nationals into deep troubles. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We already condemn every Nigeria as Nigerians. We already condemn every Nigeria by not helping them. We don't say, oh, not for you to get me into this such trouble. Don't get me into this such trouble. We just condemn them before they even come beg us for assistance. Yeah. Not all, every national has issues. Okay. But Indians we see assist an India. It's just that you should be extremely careful. Yeah, we are seeing the same there are problem. Nigerians here. Eh? At least, okay, do not put your visa, your name on anything, but share information. Nigerians are that wicked there. Eh? They hardly share information to other Nigerians. He has eaten deeply. If we keep giving excuses or say, oh, you go put me for trouble, or you're not going to put me for trouble, or you go add me this, or you're not going to add me this, information will not be passed. The one day, the one day. Information will not be passed. They don't say, may you give people money. Most of the help eh, every other Nigerians need there eh, is not usually money. 
most of Nigerians, not some of the call they put their boala for your neck, oh, you'll notice those people, you stay away from them. But most of the help this Nigerian wants eh, is not usually money. It's usually information. information. Tell me where I can get food stamp. Well, for example, if tell Nigerians where they can get food stamp, where the few get free food for abroad. Tell me how a site, US site, or any official site that I can get, I can search to get genuine assistance. No, very, tell me, okay. tell me if a country is good. Nigerians abroad, they will tell you, say, oh, this UK tax one key also, we know fit again, but they don't want to come. They don't want to come back. Uh, abroad. They will shout to take oh, they oh, no call, uh, uh, no call Canada, but you don't want to come, come back. back to Nigeria. Uh, based on that one, you make point for that one because many videos where I don't see online based on, uh, I will ten reasons for, ten reasons for you not to come to abroad. Ten, five reasons for you not to come to abroad. You are giving me ten reasons. You are giving me five reasons, but you are there. And now you will give me these ten reasons, five reasons. You will come back. You will do like say you know the toilet. Based on on the phone for me, based on I be local champion here. So on a very good day, based on that one, you make a point. I notice most of those people over there, they don't like other people to join them. Even some of them don't want their family member to join them. Yes, sir. But one way or the other, too, I don't see blame them. Because of all of you come over this country, go outside the country. Yes, say they give everybody visa. If you say visa day easy, say the gate they open. But maybe people will go there, remember this country, I'm not sure they go even reach one million. Because everybody wants their power. Because even me, I said, you know, if I get opportunity, I don't move. Ah, you will move with your YouTube. Bros, <laughs> they know they don't for day. They they don't for day now. I don't move. Oh well, yeah, as I'm saying, how far? The code the cash will no come. I would advise you to no call. So on the very good day, I notice some some of the people over there. They don't like to that happen based on that point that you gave. I believe it. They don't okay. like, but based on normal general, I uh, accommodate me and uh, introduce me to this person. Uh, call me go to this office. Even in Nigeria, yeah. Okay, remember when you travel, when you come back, weapons give you back, say when you carry come country for him. No be Nigeria man meet you. Mm -hmm. But if I may ask you from your mind, why you not collect that package? Because of the information I've seen online. The, uh, seen that it. fear, because lack of trust. Mm -hmm. If you say we they see our no, mind. Not lack of because uh, ordinary there are some help, uh, you know, uh, sometimes uh, beggars. They know they know the kind of assistance that they ask for people. Okay. That's that. That's why they say they support. As they say Nigerians, no, I know they use that opportunity. Not that they help people may actually need help. There are some beggars over there, Nigerians. That they ask for help, eh, make you not know, supposed to ask for someone. You cannot ask someone in Nigeria okay. to give his information or information about a uh, 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 green card or whatsoever so that you take apply for something that is not what you should ask from anybody that one now uh, you don't over, you know you don't over you, you ask. Don't, you know, that one is too wide uh, uh, even me ask. i can't reach, i know you but now. it is as bad as if you they walk up for street you see another nigeria eh? there are some there are some provinces so in this uh, town you see another nigeria the nigeria no go tell us in nigeria you will speak for you. He go move past you. So mm -hmm. one go go see their brother based on the same language. Go Let me play uh, one video of a woman who talked about this issue. Let okay. me just play for like few minutes, like three minutes. I just saw a video whereby a guy was saying on our Insta blog that Nigerians can never help one another in Canada. Nigerians rather help other people, other nationalities than their fellow Nigerians. And a lot of people were agreeing that it's true. They will never ever help one another because Nigerians are yada yada yada, whatever reason they give. And I can say that Nigerians are a special breed of people, especially in Canada. I have met different type of Nigerians. And I can say that it's quite dicey to help a Nigerian. I mean, Nigerians will use you. Nigerians will we we'll rather see you suffer. Nigerians are full of envy. Nigerians are 
jealous let me tell you one story there is this time i put uh, my company on the internet that i work with so 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 company right i put it there and i left it on purpose it's still on my page that i still work with that company and if you know me you know that i i i talk about corporate canada a lot and a lot of things that i've seen working in corporate canada so one nigerian lady that works in the same company she happened to go through my page and found out that i work in the same company as she does reached out to me and pretended that she wanted to uh go on a coffee day with me see me thinking innocently or for a girl to reach out to you to go on a coffee date that's good that's a a mature way and a classy way to make friends and i noticed that this girl was very particular about the branch i work the team i work with the uh, particular section i work with the particular department i work with i mean that was the only thing she kept asking that where am i working where is my office where is my branch which team am i working with and i'm like okay and i was answering innocently i gave her all the information that could pinpoint because it's a big company that could pinpoint me to a particular location and the particular office and the particular department i'm working with and she left and uh, this person that was telling me about coffee date never said anything that would foster the coffee date but she kept on insisting on knowing where i work and all that yada yada information after a few days she came again this time we exchanged our uh, contact already she came on whatsapp and started asking me questions and this person is the smart i thought i was smart you would never know where she was gearing at she she, she started conversation that would lead to her getting my name she was like oh what's your name on team i was your full name on team so i can message you on team directly she wanted to know my name she has gotten the office the location the department probably my team head and to know my name little did she know that i was no longer working with this company so i think she got confused she looked me up everywhere she couldn't find me and she thought that okay maybe i go by another name she wanted to know the name i registered with that company go 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 go, go. why so that she can put me into trouble well everybody have their own uh, experiences yeah. about nigerians eh? there are some that even want to take your own job from you yeah when you when you uh show them where you are working hmm? but other than that for here <laughs> you know they day free out to tell person where you they work you do you know now we we have a papa land now so we are free to do anything you know over there they are not free the way we are free here well i remember though i have a story everybody gets see, even nigeria i have a story about a guy that I we are for the do IT then when I went to do IT. Okay. I also gave this guy IT work. Okay. Eh, at uh, this ministry, and uh, I was in the department. This guy did other department. Their team department, but they know they flow like that. Meanwhile, my department, but they they flow. Mm -hmm. So one day, one day, this guy go meet me. Say, Kai, one, he, he, he one fast could he post my post himself. Go my old office. Ah, I go surprised. Say, ah. I tell because I open up to you, say, but they flow for my office. For my mind, though, you want to enter. For me, ah, look at my papa work. If if that I say, if you feel post yourself, go yeah, my right, office, yeah. go post yourself. So you get one man for my own office, go, 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 my organ with the guy they work together. That man don't like me. He don't like me normally. I don't finish my IT. Send me how they go. I don't want to come out. So this guy. This this man called go waka for I don't know where this is my friend called go approach her. He called go approach her, tell her, say, Oga, uh, I say, I greet you. Since uh, you the IT don't finish, my IT still didn't get continue. I don't know whether I feel come your office. I, I swear, oh, you know the person, say, if I stay with the person, we stay together. He say, go be the guy, tell her, say, uh, since I be IT don't finish, I don't know whether I feel come there. Come, uh, Come, uh, come, continue for a bit. Uh, uh, matter. I don't know. The guy dama man. <laughs> he dama man. But ever since then, uh, I moved away from that guy. You, <laughs> so you see the reason why some don't help because now you give him a little, mm -hmm. a little opportunity. I thought I turn him back first. I know things not really flow for that. Your place, but at least the manager pass nothing. 
Mm. Now the guy now, now that your own, he wants. So this thing they happen to, and you know why you won't be free like that to do it. Eh? You are in your country. So one way or the other, if one way close, it is easy for you to get another opportunity. Nobody say it is easy like that too. But at least before one month, two months, even though you don't see job, you see where you finish collect assistance but from. I'm just saying, eh, mm. I'm just saying. Okay. Eh, I understand these things, but maybe we no take and I say no. No, no, Mary, no, we need to help each other. each other. No, we need to help each other. Just, because... just be careful. If person they say assist me, it's still assist for your personal document. No assist. Do you know why we are with eh? you? Do you know why me I say we should need to help each other? Even you, when you did it now, when you be Jagaban, when you be King on your own, you don't that get person, that, that person connection take you, you there. That, that person, person connect you. you get that job. That person as in just, just, just be careful. So, just be careful. If person ask for your personal information, ah, you I'm out go, of it. You stay away from that person. But if person they ask for information, yeah, go fit get this thing. Or you get job, you go fit offer that, that person. person. And you don't see the person get good character, good give her the work. Well, I don't know. Maybe they do all this guarantor thing over there. Can you stand as a guarantor for somebody you don't know over there? Guarantor as somebody I do not know. I know now. You know, if we yes, if you stand for guarantor, no. person, no. that one are normal. Yeah, but that one for some people, they don't no. stand for guarantor. If, for for, the, for some people, face now, they are not helping them too. You go meet your uncle, may bring you there now, nah. or somebody, somebody, so they may so, take you there. Nah. Because it's even in Nigeria, yeah, I know if you stand for guarantor for okay, person, no, no, no. Yeah. So that one are normal something. So, but I'm just saying, and all the world, or also the courtism something again for their people is scattered. Just be careful, but no use them as a yastic. And also, this story, honestly, I like this uh, uh, this uh, development. Okay. I know you know like to talk about Christianity and everything, but recently the Lagos State Governor eh, announced, yeah. say, according to the state, Lagos State Government has given 30 days final notice to owners occupiers of residential buildings illegally converted to church mocks clubhouse uh, lodges and bar across the state without approval for change of use to revert to the original use of structure no mm, that one do okay now Okay. See how I read that you will, you will, you will you, see. No, you, know, uh, yeah, must be. you to tell you the truth, eh, I support. It may affect many innocent people. It may affect many business people. Oh. But no, based on if I have that kind of structure to which I'm doing business now, I don't believe that I don't do one small business. If government can say, oh, that business, mm -hmm. so when our house be here, turn on to us, no be bad. Uh, mm. It affect me with that. It, so it, that that's why I say it may affect some people. Even but if though you it, it will affect all people, even if you, though it will affect them. But if you check it out, not the best so far. Because you uh many many things don't happen with say you see when person turn your own house to worship center, it's not right. You see when person store, maybe I don't see when Roman Palo, family man, Roman Palo, that is bedroom and in a room. He turned this bedroom the sitting room now to bar. And the children were there. I know they are deep, very difficult for that man to bring that kind of thing out. So all this kind of thing, one way or the other, I support them because to me, it's a kind of development. Because if you want to build a church or a mosque, start the foundation, say, oh, see what I want to build there. Government will approve them for you. If you send a club, see some club we go there in middle of house. I know I'll mention him. He's not even far from me. The every Friday to sleep, no problem. no problem for people around. Mm -hmm. So, apart from sleep, you now as a family man, you have you build your own house. Now, they don't want build club near you. You have your children now. In the evening, you need fear to send your children outside because all those children fool around the club. Mm -hmm. So, what you would orientation they give your children? So, on a very good day, as well as that club, one club, no be at the club once in a while, but clubs get ill away clubs away today, no be inside. Middle of residential era. Mm. It gets tango church don't even develop now, but some more see they get that thing. Based on see house everywhere. You carry microphone proof on top roof. As you are praying, I know we are praying, but you are affecting other people. 
So by the time they do all those things, uh, I believe we, uh, that's why I support the, I support the, the fine plan. Okay, guys, uh, thank you very yeah. much for watching. Yeah. It's a boy, yeah, I'm Slink, a local man.